radial wave street light. Original insulators made by Hyo Brass. Bottom insulators where the ladder is situated are telephone line insulators. You can see the two spool or bobbin insulators which are holding the open bare copper wire running to the fixture. The fixture at the moment has a 300 watt Phillips GLS lamp. put this pole in based on a design that we had in the local town which is uh, just a standard distribution pole in the town the radial wave fixture is made by a company called NECO, New Zealand company NECO stands for National Electrical Engineering Company oh, let's go have a closer look Yeah, a bit high up, I'll fall off here. I am using an aluminium ladder, so I'm not going to go too close to the fixture. There we go, fixture there. Okay, line on. See the square box in here is a 1950s fuse, which we commonly used on street lights or supplying houses. Okay. Hyo brass, the spool insulator closest. I'm holding on with one hand. Um, spool insulator closest is made by a company called NZI, New Zealand Insulators Limited. And then you've got the one in the background over there which was made in America. We knew of these as mushroom insulators in here, but over in America I've heard of them being called frog insulators. Okay. Place it down and telephone line. This line isn't live. Made in 1951. June New Zealand Insulators Limited 1951. The telephone line runs over this pole. Sweet. Now we have this lamp replacement. Let's have a look. Currently I'm running an, a Philips LED lamp in there. Oh, climbing down one hand is a bit dodgy. Got an unwanted trip down. Because that will not be cool. Okay, I'm going to put you guys down and I'll show you how we replace the lamps in these. Okay. Bear with me for a second. Right. Okay. homemade bulb grabber clips in like that screw it into the fixture and then pulls off leaving the lamp in the fixture sweet all done 